as you can see it is kind of buried under the counter but i'm gonna clear it out drag it out and um pop the pistons out i was trying to well before we we're trying to take off the torque converter but um it's stuck so it doesn't rotate so we're not able to gain access to any of the bolts to free it up um so that's why we're gonna have to bang the pistons out and then hopefully it'll be able to rotate and then we can start taking off the torque converter all right so so far i was able to remove uh what is that one two three four five five um connecting rod caps and um i was able to push two of the uh, cylinders down uh, or pistons i should say so these two are free and i was trying to work on this one but this one is stuck so this one is definitely a problem and this one's a little bit tight to get to so what i'm going to end up doing is unloosening the main caps and then um, try to finish getting some of the connecting rod bolts or nuts i should say that are pretty tough to get to so hopefully i can uh, try it and then spin it a little bit so that's the game plan all right here is the current situation i have everything off all the main caps except this one I cannot get that one. All right, guys. So we were able to get the uh, 283 from the 59 Impala free, finally. So we did see some um, crap in maybe two cylinders. The main one was, was this one right here. So they're free. Well, the block is free. All right. So here is the uh, engine for the 59 Impala. And on the good side, actually, the cylinder walls do not look too bad. Obviously, you can see where it was sitting most of its life. But, um, yeah, no no real deep rust or anything like that, obviously, up there. But, um, yeah, we're going to clean it up and see what it needs. Um, but I think we'll be able to rebuild it. Um, the pistons were are good, actually, uh, for the most part. A couple of frozen piston rings, as you could tell. This one was probably the, the one where you see most of the, the crap on the top of the cylinder, but not too bad. I expected a lot worse, actually, uh, compared to the 69 Mustang engine that was uh, totally jacked up. All right, so we got the uh, 283 from the 59 Impala loaded up and into the truck. So now what we're going to do is go and power wash it and take some of this grime off of it. So we'll show you guys what it looks like after we're done with that. So oh, after a quick shower, so it looks a lot more orangey than uh, what I expected. So, so far we're just gonna get some WD-40 on the bores uh, for the cylinders and then that way hopefully it doesn't rust, but I think we should be good. And then we'll spray some on the pistons as well. Okay, so we got the engine cleaned and what we're doing was uh, we used a honing tool that uh, we rented from AutoZone and um, cleaned up a little bit of the cylinders because it did have some rust on there. Um, start going through them and they look pretty good actually so we're going to start getting the uh, piston rings on the pistons and uh, reassembling the motor and we have four pistons in the block and we have four pistons that the top rings are frozen um, so we were able to start getting the tops on two pistons and uh, right now these are soaking in uh, some uh, freeze off, so, or freeze out, yeah, freeze off. So um, we have one that is just about there, just need the top one. And this one needs two, or one in a third. And then this is the one that needs um, the top two and the compression ring. So um, solely just going around in a circle with the uh, ball peen hammer and just moving the ring little by little wherever it sticks out a little bit and then just hammering that in a little bit so trying to get it to move freely all right guys here is the current situation on the 59's 283 it's been a while since we worked on the engine so we were trying to get two um pistons free actually four i'm sorry uh pistons free uh as far as their uh piston rings that were stuck on there so now we want to these two 
and these two it just wouldn't work so what we ended up doing was um pressing out the uh piston uh wrist pin and then uh getting some uh, other ones attached to it that we had lying around All right, guys, so uh, we're getting back to the uh, 283 for the 1959. We finally got all the wrist pins on, and um, now the motor is turning or spinning. So we're getting the top dead center on piston number one, so we can put on the cam and the timing chain, and then put on the cover. I already replaced the seal. So now it's just a matter of uh, cleaning up the rope cam and then putting that on, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so right now we are putting the timing cover gasket on and then we're gonna put the oil pan on but well, not yet we gotta put the seal on we gotta put the seal on first All right guys, so here are the last two uh, push rods that I need for the uh, 283 for the 1959. So let's see what happens. All right, everybody, we are back uh, working on the 59 283. Um, it's assembled now and rotating. So figured uh, while my brother's at work, I'm gonna paint it and uh, make it look one color again. All right, everybody, so ran into a little bit of a problem. I need another valve cover so I went and looked couldn't find one so I so happened to look to my right and there's one right there I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice it for for this engine um, hopefully my brother doesn't get mad but let's get this going all right got the other valve cover off and now she is on I kind of look like the look of this but I don't know all right just uh, sprayed some coats on the engine block and uh, she's looking very nice so let's uh, keep going 